Hi guys, welcome to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host and presenter, Iggy, and we're going to continue with the Star Wars theme for a few more videos. And then I think in storage, I should have some Alamo figures. And I also haven't found uh, Forces of Valor, Americans, Germans, and British. I haven't found those yet. So I still have things that are missing. I hope they're not lost. Uh, in the last visit to storage, I thought I got everything. But having looked through my journal, I, can, I know there are certain things that are still missing. Um, for those of you new to this channel, what I do is um, mostly toy soldiers. But I also do Star Trek, Star Wars, and Indiana Jones. Not as much as the um, soldiers, but I do like those other things as well. Uh, it's just that I sold off half of my Star Trek collection, my Star Wars collection, and a third of my Indiana Jones collection. So they uh, took a heavy hit before I decided to stop selling it at the flea market because I just wasn't getting any money for any of it. And I got a job, so that alleviated the financial pressure that I was under, and I was able to rescue uh, the remainder. Um, I wish I could have shown you when I was at my top form, but that's that. You know, you can't cry over spilt milk, as they, as Grandma used to say, right? Okay, so what do we have here? We got Star Wars uh, artillery, and these three at the top are Rebel laser cannons and these came with a I think with a dart that would fit in here and you could fire it I have no idea what's happened to those um, but at any rate here they are and it came with a figure on a blister card so there you go does it give any information on the bottom of when this was made I don't see anything. You, I never even noticed this before, but it has tracks on it. I didn't notice that until today. Shows how observant Iggy is. I believe I have six of these. Uh, these three loose ones, and then I think I have three in packages. You know what? I should bring this out, too. I think this is a cannon from uh, the Death Star. I think that's what this is. Got it upside down. There you go. So we'll put this into the picture too. We might as well, right? And there's the Death Star gun. There is a scene in Star Wars where they're firing a gun like this at the attacking rebels. And if I'm not mistaken, steam comes up from it or something. But it's been so long since I've seen the movie. I mean, it's been a long time now. Uh, these are uh, tripod uh, laser guns that uh, the uh, Imperials used. And I set one up. I, the reason I only show them like this is because it was taking a long time to set up. All these up as you can see it has a lot of parts to it but what I did do is I um, I put one together this is I'm assuming some sort of battery pack and it plugs into the bottom of the the, the uh, laser gun here you can see that see it plugs in there and then it this has three legs And that's what it looks like when it's assembled. So we'll back up a little bit. And this came with a stormtrooper. I think I have... I thought I had six of these, but I only count five here. So I must have one somewhere else. Or I remember one of the ones I had was missing a leg. And maybe that's why it's not here. 
At any rate, it comes with uh, the, I assume, is a, some sort of charging device for the laser. And this is the cable that connects it to the laser gun. It's tripod like this. You can see it's pretty cool looking. Pretty cool. And that's from, of course, the Death Star. It would be nice to set that up and then get some Imperial Gunner figures. Those are really cool, the Imperial Gunners. You guys have seen those with the lobster helmet, I guess. And then here's what they look like unassembled. And then finally our laser cannons. Okay, guys, this is a short video, but it's sweet and to the point. No Iggy stories this time. That's all I got for you on this one. So I'm going to put this away, and I think I'll show you some stormtroopers. And then uh, after that, I've got Action Fleet by Galoob, Star Wars uh, vehicles. And I have Galoob uh, Micro Machine play sets and also uh, the ones that look like a, a, a figurehead. It just like, looks like a, well, it's a head, basically. Like uh, you got uh, Chewbacca and Darth Vader and uh, Royal Guard, whatnot. And you open it up and it would be a play set. So it was pretty cool. And uh, then after that, I film the... Uh, Knights of the Sword castle that I bought back in the 80s. And then I should be all done with what I have here at the house. And I think there's got to be something else because, like I said earlier, I'm still missing some stuff that uh, I hope is not gone because it's cool stuff. All right, so that's it for this one. Uh, you guys take care. Be one with the force. Well, actually, uh, I'm a loyal citizen of the Empire, so I'm going to have to report you. I'm sorry. You're under arrest.